Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm getting ready to start working on this uh, tank area. And uh, I've, got, I've got to get the piece that goes uh, up against the spar here. And that's where what's happening is there's, there'll be a 16th inch piece of whatever material I choose, plywood, aluminum. Um, the plans say to use Lexan. Uh, I guess it's, uh, uh, according to what I've read about it, it's like, it's Lexan itself is really feel proof. So, um, what, uh, but I'll, I'll figure out what I want to use here. But now you can see that I've got this turned over. What's going to happen is in the tank area, which I'm feeling for this piece under here, it goes back to about right here. It'll be a cross member here. Um, and this is where this piece of plywood is going to get routed out for three quarters of an inch and then go all the way forward so it'll leave a reveal here and then um, there'll be a piece of plywood with a three quarter inch reveal here i'm going to put a piece of plywood cap strip on this rib um, and that will then allow me to attach the rs17 uh, to the side here and then I'll have a three quarter inch reveal in this location. And we'll have to save in the front because this piece is actually a three quarter inch piece. So um, that'll put us in a really good spot. And then there's a piece that goes to support this rib. And we'll get that in and uh, we'll see how far, see how far we can get here. And over here I've got, uh, I got the rest of the plywood. One section, so I've got the other two, and I, I can come in and now add these uh, uh, add the 16th plywood both at the tip of the roof on both sides. So, uh, so cool. I'll get uh, I'll get set up here and uh, and uh, we'll see if we can't get something epoxy together. All right. All right. So I've got the inch and a quarter here. going to go in this location and then what I want to see is uh, how much plywood do I need to end up with a uh, three-quarter inch reveal there let me get a ruler Once this is there, just mark, uh, make a mark at three quarters. Three quarters, that leaves me with uh, uh, about one inch actually. So, one inch of plywood gets me to the outside of this uh, gusset, which is fine. I think I'll, I'll come out that far. So I have a one inch strip, 16th inch ply. That's gonna leave me a uh, three quarter inch, um, three quarter inch space for, uh, actually maybe, maybe I'm just under an inch. Let me check that again, three quarters. Yeah, it's just under an inch. It's actually uh, seven eighths. Yeah, seven eighths will be fine. So that'll leave me a good, nice, clear three quarter. So I'll get some sixteenth ply. We will cut that into a, a strip that we need, and then. Uh, We've got this piece that's going to go across here, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this piece in first, then I'm going to figure out what this piece is, and I'm going to put some plywood gussets underneath, underneath there, and uh, and I'll get the front piece in and get that cut. All right, so let's do this first. I think 
one of the things we need to do is we need to make a mark. Actually, I need to find where my plywood ends here, where, where my piece ends underneath here. Um, so in that case, we'll take a measurement. Let's take a look at the, uh, look at the plan here. Alright, so the front edge of that, the front edge of this piece, where this piece goes, is 21 and a quarter from the spar. So that means we are 21 and a quarter from the spar. Get the same measurement out here. Uh, 21 and a quarter. It's going to be right here. Now that's to the front edge, so then I have an inch and a quarter piece. So and we'll go back inch and a quarter. That'll show me where we're going here. That may not matter in a few minutes. Because I'm about to cover that up. Mostly I want to locate it here. All this. Let's see how we do. Quarter. And I'm back an inch and a quarter. All right. That should be where my piece is at. Underneath here. Spot check on that. Yeah, that's it, so. That's where the cross piece is going. All right, first things first, let's cut that cap strip. This front piece is quarter by half, uh, RS3. And so I'm gonna cut that first. And my piece tapers a little, so I need to pick where the first mark is here. So it's basically going to go from here to here. So I'm going to cut that off. I've got to get all these prepped so when I get ready to start epoxy and I get them all in at the same time. Uh, so that's my front piece there. Yep. And again I've got the grain oriented where I'm going to be actually screwing through the grain this way instead of splitting the grain this way. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Now this piece of RS-17 actually goes all the way from, goes all the way from the front of 
I don't remember if it butt joints up to the RS3 up there. I just need to take a quick look at that. Um, So um, I'm glad I looked at that because that actually, uh, this actually goes first. And then the RS3 butt joints up to that. So, uh, I'm going to leave it just a little bit long, a little bit proud, and then I'll trim it after I uh, get it in place, or right before I get it in place anyway. I'm trying to figure how much additional material the curve is going to take, so... That's better. Alright, so it's right here. that one there and then once we do that we'll redo this plus three it's too long right now so as I always do when I'm when I'm working with the plywood uh, I like to get a piece of wood here so we so nothing creeps underneath the fence All right, so we'll just in seven eighths of an inch. That's close enough. We're moving not a whole lot, but enough. going to do is I'm going to actually go from here right up against the leading edge fly and then I'm going to come back to The back of where my one and a quarter inch piece here at the back, and then uh, that'll put me in a good spot there. Even though this piece continues all the way to the spar, um, I only need to go this far because then I'm going to have another piece of plywood. It's actually going to be a strip across here uh, in the rear. So I'm going to cut this one off right here. You know, I couldn't find a lot of information. Uh, there's not a whole lot online about how to do this uh, for this for these wing tanks. So, <clears throat> just kind of making it up, however I want to do it as I go here. But I think this method is going to actually work pretty well. Um, so, I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to cut this, and then. Uh, 
and then I think we'll be ready to uh, ready to get this glued in place. All right, so that gets me this piece. And that gets me right where I want to be. And then this piece will come in underneath it. Get that bent in place. This cap, this will cap it. And then I've got uh, three quarter inches left for where my Lexan aluminum plywood, whatever I decide, will uh, fit into. So, all right. So I think it's time to epoxy this one in place. And I'm gonna hit the glue side here with a little sandpaper. Let me get some uh, epoxy mixed up and I'll be right back. All right, so let me get this part on. So get some epoxy here. What I'm hoping this will do when it's dry, which I believe it will, um, it's gonna, it's 
going to put it put me in a good spot where I'll actually have something to uh, actually clamp this up against uh, so that I get a nice nice tight fit there. take my take my stick here and I'm gonna just run it underneath here just to see if I can pick up some of that squeeze out. fit when I go to put this other piece in there. All right. <clears throat> so now this next piece um, is a piece of goes 11 inches back from the spar and it's a piece of RS4 glued to the top of the compression rib which is over here at top spar cap and glue inboard under rib and RS17 okay so I can't do that yet because it actually gets attached to the underside of this piece. So actually I can't put that in yet, but it actually goes from here all the way under, uh, it crosses under at 11 inches. Let's see where that's at. actually crosses under right here and goes underneath this piece and attaches right here to this top compression rib. So we can't do that yet. We can't do this yet because we gotta do that first. We can't do this yet because we gotta do that first. And uh, the only other thing we could possibly do here is we could route out our three quarter inch piece here. And uh, I'm gonna figure out how I want to do that. So I'm going to think about that a bit. All right, so while I'm waiting on that to do its thing, I'm actually going to go ahead and put the, uh, put the plywood on here. Um, and I've got uh, more than enough hanging over there. So I can probably even rip some of that off. One thing to do uh, when, uh, when you grab your stapler, always grab some staples because inevitable you'll be walking back to get more anyway. So, uh, all right, let's get this plywood here.
Blue side. All right. All right, so um, that's, uh, that went pretty good. I got, uh, I got this piece on, which, which is great because this sets me up, uh, sets me up really nice for, um, for tomorrow. I'll probably be back tomorrow to get this piece in. Uh, that'll just go fit really nicely under there. It'll give me something to I'll be able to clamp to that and the rib at the same time with this. Um, then I can get this cross piece in get the cross piece in in the front. I got the plywood on the uh, tips of the uh, ailerons. You saw me do the one, then I came, excuse me, I came down and got the other one put in. So those are done. And uh, yeah, I'm getting pretty close to hanging this one on the wall. I'm gonna put a couple brackets up here on the wall so I can hang this wing up there while I, uh, start working on the second one so the second one will go a lot faster um, and uh, hopefully I'll just do some time lapses and you can just kind of watch me put that one together because you've already seen all of this one so um, yeah um, anyway thanks so much for checking out the video I do appreciate it if you're not a subscriber hit that little subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any of these you'll get notified if you hit the bell every time I upload and uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.